Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a quick video about tuning Pressure Advance for Clipper. If you don't know, Pressure Advance is for tuning the quality of the corners of your print. So if, if you have too low of a Pressure Advance, you may see some uh, wavy marks and if you have too high of a Pressure Advance, your corners will kind of be rounded and in either case it won't look that good. So this setting in Clipper and to my knowledge this is only available in Clipper uh, lets you tune the pressure advance and with that you can get much sharper edges that don't have any of the wavy curvy marks and uh, again are sharp to tune pr pressure advance you will need a special STL file this file will be linked in the description below this is from the Clipper GitHub you have to print this with some special settings uh, first of all, you need to make sure your layer height and your first layer height as well is 75% uh, of your nozzle diameter. So in my case and pretty much most printers cases, your nozzle is 0.4 millimeter. If you're using something else, you probably know that already. Just uh, make sure that it's 75% of that. So in a 0.4 nozzle, it's 0.3 layer height. For infill, you need to make sure that you don't have any infill. This uh, this print needs to be empty, hollow inside. Also, you need to make sure that you print at a pretty high speed. The recommended is uh, 100 millimeters per second. And you also need to make sure that you don't slow down for any other uh, any other printing setting. So make sure that all pretty much everything is 100 millimeters per second. You don't really need to change your treble, I just changed it for, you know, just to fill everything. Uh, you don't need to change your first layer speed. Changing this could mean that you you may not have as good of a layer adhesion in your first layer, so I recommend leaving that alone, but other than that, uh, make sure your speeds are uh, 100 km per second, and then just slice this. Now it's time for you to print the uh, newly sliced uh, test file. But before we print, we need to input a few commands on the console. So this is the console tab of main sale. If you don't know, on Octoprint, it will be this terminal page. But I'm doing the testing of my V0, so it, which has a main sale on it. So uh, that's where we'll input them. So first of all, you input uh, this command. And this just adjust your acceleration settings. Next, uh, there are two options. For a drag drive, you input uh, this command. For a Bowden setup, you just change this value to uh, 0.020 instead of 0.005. And uh, again, you input this as well. Again, all of these uh, the, all of these commands will be in the description as well. And once you've entered all of these commands, you can just go ahead and start printing your test file. So here's our print with uh, the testing of the pressure at once. And you can see that the corners of the print does vary a lot. Now your aim with this is to find the sweet spot. So if you look if you go uh, down low enough you can see the curvy shape here and if you go too high well you can see that the corners aren't uh, as sharp as they're supposed to be so in our case the perfect spot in my opinion is somewhere around here so what you need to do is uh, i recommend using calipers for this uh, just uh, find the the millimeters distance from the bottom so I measure 29 millimeters as the perfect sweet spot so to calculate our pressure advance setting what you need to do is add the start value which is 0 in our case so not gonna enter then 29 millimeters uh, times 0 0.02 in my case because I chose Bowden as I said if you did the tuning for direct drive it's 005 and there we go, this is our ideal pressure advance setting. So what we do with this is we enter this uh, to the printer.cfg file under the extruder. 
you can see the pressure advance setting is right now zero we just enter 0.58 and then save and then obviously you also need to do a firmware restart and that's about it capturing the difference is a bit harder on camera than you might expect but hopefully in this picture you can see the difference the one on the left is with pressure advance and Hopefully you can tell that the edges are much sharper than the one on the right, which was before doing the pressure advanced tuning. It was just a bit smoother and uh, yeah, as I said, this, uh, this worked better. So uh, I hope you found this video useful for tuning your pressure advanced setting. And uh, if you found this video useful, please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching.